Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a form in Excel online. We're gonna create a form in Excel online, and this is online because it's not actually available in the fat client versions of Excel on Windows or Mac. So to get to Excel online, you can just go from the Office homepage, or you can go from the App Launcher and choose Excel. And then I'm gonna create a new blank workbook. In the inset menu, there's a forms dropdown. So here we can create a new form. When we choose this, it's actually gonna open up Microsoft Forms and we can create the new form from there. So now I've got a new forms tab. I'm still working in the workbook. You can see there it's auto saving it for me as I go. I can choose the title of the form and then I can add some questions. So we'll just add a choice, a text and a rating. So we've got three questions there. So when I preview the form, it looks like this. One, two, three questions and submit. That's it, nice and easy. Now, when we go back to the spreadsheet, you can see it's created this new tab called Form 1 and it's added some columns in there as well. As you add questions and remove questions and so on, it adds them to the end of the form. So you can see I've got a column for question one, two, and three, and then I've got the other bits of metadata here like start time, completion time, and so on. If I go and fill out the form, if I just go back here and preview it, so I'm actually looking at it like a responder and I choose some answers and hit a star there and submit it. Now, if I go back to the worksheet, any second now it's gonna update that with the responses. And if you don't see that happen immediately, you could just refresh the spreadsheet and the data will be there. So as you go through, obviously this will be fitting out and you'll see all your responses here. You can also open up the form at any time. So if I go to the insert menu, and forms, I can edit the form at any time. So if I wanted to add or remove questions there, I can, and that would just take me off to forms and I can do it in the usual way. And also if I wanna send the form to somebody, so if I want to distribute the form so they can fill out the form and add data to my spreadsheet, I just go to the send form button and then I can go to the share button. I can grab the URL here by copying, just like any Microsoft form. So now I have that in the clipboard, I can put it into an IM or into an email. Then you also have the embed or QR code and an email link as well. You can also choose whether to share it with people in your organization or anyone with the link can respond. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to create a form in Excel Online. Hope that helps and see you next time.